Good morning. It's hard to believe next week is what? Christmas. Time flies. Many times when, during the time of Christmas comes, we think, what was it like when Jesus was a baby? What was it like when he grew up? What was it like as an adult and different things? We're going to find out some. So as you see, who is Jesus? But of course, before we enter into that lesson, we'll have a song led by David Lee. Hello? This is our song. Nearer to Jesus, so why should I fear? He has bequeathed me his message of cheer. Nearer to Jesus, the strength of my life. And he is my leader through danger and strife. Nearer to Jesus, what comfort and rest. With loving kindness, I surely am blessed. Nearer to Jesus, who giveth me peace and joy and salvation, which never shall cease. Nearer to Jesus, the Savior of love. Nearer to heaven, his kingdom above. Nearer the robe and the crown I shall wear, and near, near the riches of glory up there. Amen. Now we're ready for our lesson. Who is Jesus? Now we'll focus on what happened in the New Testament. In John chapter 7, it talks about what happened. Then some of the people that lived in Jerusalem said, this is the man they are trying to kill. But he is teaching where everyone can see and to hear him. And no person trying to stop him from teaching. Maybe the leaders have decided he really is the Christ. We'll look at this again a little later. This is a time when Jesus went to the Passover in Jerusalem. The people already knew Jesus from his travels throughout Judea, that's in the south, where Jerusalem was down there, and Galilee that was in the north, where Nazareth was. These people were excited when Jesus came to Jerusalem for the Passover. These people were not sure if Jesus really was the Christ promised by God. You know, the Jews look forward to the Christ. Today, the Jews who don't believe in Jesus still are looking forward to, for the Christ. The people knew that God promised a special person called the Christ or Messiah. That's what the Jews even today call Messiah. 
this special person, the Christ, would come one day and help the Jews. While the people knew this, Christ would help the Jews. They didn't know who he would be. They had some, had some wrong ideas. Now going back to what we started with. Then some of the people that lived in Jerusalem said, this is the man they're trying to kill. You remember that the Jews, uh, the Jewish leaders, both Pharisees and Sadducees, two different groups, hated Jesus. They wanted to kill him. The people knew it. The Pharisees and teachers of the law did not like Jesus. So they tried to find a way to kill him. But he, but you notice Jesus, it says Jesus, he is teaching, sitting or whatever, everywhere people could see him. He wasn't hiding. It was in public. Wow. And no person is trying to stop him from teaching. That's why they were wondering. Maybe the leaders had decided that he really is the Christ. And leave him alone. They, they didn't know that was the, wasn't the reason. They were afraid of the people. And they were trying to find a time and a place in private when they could arrest Jesus. In most of his work on earth, Jesus taught in public, not in private. Very few times did he teach in private. Maybe with Nicodemus, who came to see him at night. It sounds like a private meeting. It may have been before the apostles, I don't know. But most of the time, Jesus taught in public. He had nothing to hide. Since the Jewish leaders did not yet arrest Jesus, the people wondered if the leaders now believed Jesus is the Christ. He continues talking, but we know where this man's home is, meaning Jesus. They knew Jesus grew up in Nazareth, but that's not, they didn't realize that he was born in Bethlehem and later moved to Nazareth, where he grew up. what the people thought and when the real Christ comes no person will know where he comes from they were wrong because you remember when the wise men came to see the baby Jesus they came to King Herod and King Herod heard about it where is the person who is born, the king of the Jews? King Herod didn't want that. He didn't want anyone taking his throne. He even killed his own mother and some of his sons. Wow. So he thought he was going to kill a baby Jesus. So he said to the wise men, when you find him, Please tell me where I, so I can go and worship him. But he planned to kill him. Now, how did he know 
that was going to be in Bethlehem because the king Herod had asked the Jewish leaders, where will the Christ be born? And the answer was in Bethlehem, like the Old Testament and the prophets named, uh, named Micah. He said that he would be born in Bethlehem. But right now, the people didn't know. They didn't know where Christ came from. The people thought that no one would know where the Christ came from. But they knew that Jesus came from Nazareth, where he grew up. Jesus was still teaching in the temple. And Jesus said, yes, you know me, and you know where I'm from. But I have not come by my own authority. Jesus admitted the people knew that he was from Nazareth and from the family of Joseph the carpenter. But Jesus insisted he did not come to earth on his own. The Father sent him. I was sent by the one, meaning God, who is true. You don't know him. Jesus said God sent him. Jesus said he knew God, but that the people didn't know him. But I know him, and I am from him. He sent me. When Jesus said this, the people tried to get him. They were angry. Why? Because he said, the Father sent me. I know him. He's in heaven. And I know him. I, we, it's like I've looked him in the face. The people saw, looked at it, Jesus. I say he looked a little over 30 years old. The people were angry with Jesus because he said he was from God and that he knew God. But no person was able to touch Jesus. They tried to arrest him and put him in jail, but they couldn't touch him. Why? It was not yet the right time for Jesus to be killed. It wasn't time. But the people could not touch Jesus because it wasn't yet his time to die on the cross. Jesus' death probably happened the next year when the Jewish leaders did arrest him in private. But many of the people believed in Jesus. The people said, We are waiting for the Christ to come. When the Christ comes, will he do more miracles than this man, meaning Jesus, has done? No, this man must be the Christ. Some of the people thought Jesus really was the Christ because of the miracles they saw him do, like healing the blind so they could see, healing the deaf so they could hear, 
and speak. The crippled, he would tell them to get up and they could walk. Many other diseases he healed. People were, looked and they were amazed and they believed. It's true, those miracles were a sign from God to show who Jesus was. The Pharisees heard these things the people were saying about Jesus. They didn't like it. So the leading priests and the Pharisees sent some temple police to arrest Jesus. Then, then Jesus said, I will be with you people a little while longer. Then I will go back to the one, meaning God, who sent me. You will look for me, but you will not find me. And you cannot come where I am. Talking about later on after his death on the cross. And later being, uh, ascending into heaven. Jesus was talking about the time when the, the next year when he would be killed on the cross. Soon after his death on the cross, Jesus would rise from death and be taken up into heaven back with the Father God. But of course, the people did not understand. Huh? The Jews said to each other, Where will this man go that we cannot find him? Will he go to the Greek cities where our people live? Will he teach the Greek people there? This man... Jesus says, you will look for me, but you will not find me. He also says, you cannot come where I am. What does this mean? They didn't understand. The people were very much puzzled by what Jesus said. The people didn't understand Jesus would be on the earth about one more year. Then he would return to heaven. Almost 2,000 years later, we understand now, looking back, we understand what Jesus was saying. On the third day after his death on the cross, Jesus came back to life. After Jesus rose from death, he was lifted into heaven and now sits at the Father's right side. From this brief study, do you now know who Jesus is? Jesus is our Lord and Savior. He is God's Son who died for our sins. Have you come to Jesus? If you haven't, will you now come to him? He's the only way to eternal life. Let us pray. 
Father in heaven, we thank you for your son Jesus, who you sent to the earth to live among people, and who lived as a man, yet without sin. Wow. And how he did miracles for the people to see. How he taught the, the people about heaven and about you. And many things. We may not know everything, but we can know for sure that your son died for our sins and rose to become our Lord and Savior. Help us always to keep our faith in Jesus. We once again thank you for Jesus. Through Jesus' name, amen. Remember this if you want to contact me. I've gotten a few contacts. Thank you, and I will be happy to help you. May God bless you, and we love you.